Hello and welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway for a special event race today here at Bristol Motor Speedway as 14 of the best drivers in the LNCS get ready to take on Bristol Motor Speedway as we have all previous winners here from the LNCS here in the series. We have a special 10 lap event race here. So we'll take a look at how the drivers got here. So get the LNCNS winners. So first we'll start off at season one, race one at Martinsville, where Ryan Blaney was able to edge out Martin Truex Jr. here. He's got to the inside on the final lap and got the win. Ryan Blaney was your winner. So first one to lock himself into this event. Now, move on to race two at Talladega. So we had Dale Earnhardt Jr. edge out teammate Chase Elliott to win. Dale Jr. is your second one to lock in to the event. Move on to race three at Homestead. As Martin Truex Jr. was able to edge out Kyle Busch and win the race. Martin Truex Jr. the third one to lock his way into this race. And move on to Season 2, Race 1 at Martinsville. So you had Joey Logano end up winning over Kyle Busch there to be the next one to lock himself into the event. Move on to Race 2 at Richmond as Chase Elliott with a commanding lead and win over Martin Truex Jr. there at Richmond. Chase Elliott, next one into the event. Move on to race three at Charlotte with Kyle Busch edging out Kyle Larson for the win in the Coca Cola 600. Kyle Busch is the next one lock into the event. Move on to race four at Chippewa Valley. We had a crazy turn of events in the finish here as Clint Boyer was able to get by them, wrecking at the end and win. Be the next one to lock into the event. We go on to race five at the Charlotte Roll. <clears throat> so we had Kyle Larson edge out Alex Bowman, but fortunately, due to Larson's suspension, um, was not able to find a ride and will not be in this race. Move on to race seven at Homestead. It's a crazy turn of events here as they wrecked at the end and Eric Almarola was able to come through and get the win be the next one to be locked into this event move on to season three race one at Martinsville as we had Denny Hamlin edge out Kyle Larson and win the race so he's the next one to be locked into the event move on to race two at Las Vegas we had a hard battle between Alex Bowman and Kevin Harvick, and Kevin Harvick was just able to edge out Bowman for the win and solidify his place in this event. Move on to race six, first Bristol race. As we had Eric Jones get around Joey Logano and get the win here. So Eric Jones is the next one to move into the event. And then we move on to race eight at Daytona. So we had a very exciting finish here. So you had Daniel Hemrick here, just able to edge out Bubba Wallace, Chase Elliott, and Ryan Newman there to get the win and lock himself into the event today. We move on to race nine at the Charlotte Roval. As Jimmy Johnson, a commanding lead over Joy Logano was able to get the win be the next one to lock himself into the event it's Jimmy Johnson's first win in the LNCS and then our final one to make it into the race here is at race 10 at Homestead as William Byron was able to hold off Brad Kozlowski and win his way into the event and as the grid begins to roll off, we'll take a look at your starting lineup for today's race. 
And on the pole, by random draw, is Dale Earnhardt Jr. into his outside, Kyle Busch. In row two is Martin Truex Jr. to his outside, Eric Almirola. In row three is Ryan Blaney and to his outside, Denny Hamlin. In row four is Chase Elliott and to his outside, Kevin Harvick. In row five is Joey Logano to his outside, Jimmy Johnson. In row six, Danny Hummerick in the 31 car there. And to his outside, Eric Jones, your Bristol winner. In row seven, Clint Boyer, your winner at both races at Chippewa Valley. And to his outside, William Byron. So, Bristol Dash, um, non-points event race. Takes 10 laps, 14 drivers, and is made up of all LNCS winners. And green flags in the air as Dale Jr. leads him down in his turn one. And we'll get the lead here coming down the back stretch. Martin Truex Jr. is fighting hard with Kyle Busch there for second place. Dale Jr. is going to lead the first lap here. As you see the field roll by. As Martin Truex Jr. has gotten around Kyle Busch and is now trying to hunt down Dale Jr. to take that lead away. As Dale Jr. is going to try the low line. Truex is going to try a little higher and gets the run off the turn there and he's going to dive down to the inside and get around Dale Jr. as Ryan Blaney is going to try to take advantage of that as well. Blaney is going to try to go down low on Martin Truex Jr. and they're battling side by side down the back stretch. Truex goes high, Blaney goes low and Blaney is able to clear him off of turn four. And then Kyle Busch there moving into second, working against teammate Martin Truex Jr. to try to get around him. Looks like he's going to clear him here off turn four as Joey Logano moves into third and oh, drives it in way too hard and takes out Kyle Busch. As we have a caution here on lap six as Joey Logano and Kyle Busch got into each other. As they will be taken away here. Take a look at your replay. It looks like Logano just dove it in way too hard and just got into the back of Kyle Busch and spun both of them around. So it looks like their day is going to be done. So they'll be taken to the garage. And then we'll get a restart here. Restart lap 9 to 10. So two laps to go with Ryan Blaney, your leader, Martin Truex Jr. to his outside, Chase Elliott in third, Dale Jr. fourth, and Denny Hamlin in fifth. So green flags in the air as Ryan Blaney leads him down. And Blaney gets a decent jump, but Truex is still saying the oh, And Ryan Blaney got loose. As Truex gets the lead now, battling on that outside line. Chase Elliott's on the inside, trying to battle by him. Still side by side as they go into turn one. And looks like Martin Truex Jr. gets a better run off the corner. As Chase Elliott goes low there, trying to get the lead. Ooh, slides up the track and gets in the Truex. And Dale Jr. is going to sneak by for the win. Just kind of crazy finish there as Dale Jr. was able to sneak by for the win. We'll take a look at that replay. So Chase Elliott goes to the inside. Of Truex here has a good run. It just gets too much coming off the turn and gets right into Truex and puts both of them into the wall. And Dale Jr. is able to sneak by for the win. So we'll take a look at your finishing results here. Dale Jr. gets the win. And he's going to burn it down here. And he will head off to victory lane. And so Dale Jr. is your winner. So I hope you enjoyed today's race. Um, and I hope you enjoyed some of the new um, graphics that I've put in. It took me a while to get those done, but I uh, hope everybody enjoyed with that ticker and everything. And hope you guys enjoyed the new opening as well as the new series logo. So, this is Corey Klatt, signing off.